What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Where... So, I, I kind of ended last episode a little abruptly. I didn't mean to exactly. That's just the way it happened. But the... At the last, the end of last episode, we were trying to finish up the last quest that Cass has for us so that we can go and see his like special cutscene after you've done all of his quests. But um, the last one that I have to do for him is that ridiculous blood moon thing that's over on the Washa Bluff. And I cannot for the life of me get a blood moon to trigger. I mean, like I, I've been sitting here for an hour trying to get the blood moon to trigger and just like passing time checking the moon passing time checking the moon and then i even was like okay fine i don't know how this works so i'll go out and like hunt some enemies and i killed a bunch of guardians thinking like well maybe that'll get it to trigger no it did not and then so uh i just I'm kind of like helpless i feel like trying to get this thing to trigger but what i did read on the internet good old reddit was that if you play for like some some random number it's like two hours and 48 minutes or something like that uh i think straight then eventually if nothing else triggers the blood moon that will so i'm thinking sometime during our gameplay session today we'll get a blood moon um i hope because that's the last thing that we need to do for Cass. But what we're going to focus on today is more of the main story. We've really, besides Cass's thing, we've really finished up a lot of everything else. So let's get back to our memories. The last memory that we need to find is this one right here. Which this one's always difficult because like this could be anywhere. It's just a random forest. Uh... There's nothing really that sticks out about it. So what we're going to do now is now you see this. OK, so on the map, the road goes across this bridge here, but there actually is another path here that goes down this way. And so what I sort of like to think happened here, and this will make sense, too, when we see the memory, but um, I believe that this is the path that Link and Zelda and maybe a group of others from the castle took when they were fleeing Calamity Ganon's attack because this isn't actually on the map. It doesn't, it's, you know, it's like a little footpath, I guess, is what you maybe uh, compare it to. So it's definitely a little strange that they would have been out this way completely off of you know, regular roads and stuff. So likely what probably happened is, you know, like after that last memory, when Calamity Ganon awakens, they rush back to the castle, realize that they are just way in over their heads and Link is injured. And so they flee. And so they're thinking like, okay, we'll flee this way maybe and uh, make it around to, I don't know, Kakariko Village. Like, you know, you can go this way and you can kind of go up the back way right here and get into Kakariko Village and get to Impa maybe. Except maybe the bridge was already taken over by enemies. So they were forced to make a sharp turn. And so they went down this way so they could maybe try to get around to Kakariko Village by going through the dueling peaks and around this way. I don't know. Let's do the memory. And uh, I, I'm naked, I guess, because Link, you know, Link is naked because... I have been waiting for that blood moon. And I thought, well, I'll just be ready to go when the blood moon happens. And it just won't happen. I just cannot trigger that thing. But yeah, I, I saw a video from... I just... I don't remember who it was. It was like one of the Zelda tubers, you know. Maybe maybe Nintendo Black Crisis. Maybe Zeltic. I don't remember who it was. But um, they like went through this whole thing kind of saying what I was saying, like, maybe they're fleeing. Like, see, clearly they're fleeing. They had to go this way. Or maybe it wasn't anything, like, a path was blocked off. Maybe maybe they just wanted to stay off the main roads. How did it come to this? The divine beasts, the guardians, they've all turned against us. 
It was... Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. And everyone, Mipha, Verbosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything, everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. That's gotta be the saddest cutscene in the game. I mean, for sure, saddest cutscene in the game. Zelda is really just realizing. Oh, the sound was different. That was weird. Because we got them all. You found the location of all 12 pictures. So wheat. So now we gotta go back and report to Empa. But yeah, Zelda is really just realizing there, like, I guess the gravity of everything that's happened with her sealing power not awakening, which is not her fault. She did everything she could to try and make that happen. And it just wouldn't. And then they were all just left, you know, pretty helpless against the Calamity. And of course the Calamity seemed like it already knew what to expect and what was coming. So even if they, even if she had had the sealing power, I, I don't know if it would have even, I mean, maybe it might've all worked out better that way, but even still the guardians, oh my gosh. Totally derailed me. I was just trying to save that poor lady. Even even if her ceiling power had awoken. Hold on, where are we going? Is this the... Well, it's not exactly the way that I would have liked to go, but this will work. Anyways, uh, the, the Divine Beast would have still been overtaken and quite possibly the champions would have already been killed before Zelda was able to do anything about it. Well, even... Please don't do that again. Even with... Even with... I don't know why I have this problem where, like, I hit that button on accident. I don't know what I'm trying to press. And, and then I end up, like, throwing whatever sword I have equipped. <laughs> Anyways. Um... I lost my train of thought on whatever I was saying, but... Yeah, I was just, you know, thinking about how if, even if Zelda would have had her ceiling power awakened, the champion still very well could have died. And even though she has her ceiling power and she's able to seal him right now, the Divine Beasts still were being kind of sort of controlled by the Malice. So it still would have been... It would have still been a bad day. It would. I didn't, may not have been as bad, but... She just couldn't get that ceiling power to awaken. So we're going to go talk, talk to Impa and then get the... I guess the the rest of the story, there is actually one more memory. Our, my bike is running out of gas here. Let's see. We can make it into town. Perfect. <laughs> what do you think these guys have to think seeing me ride up on a, an actual motorcycle? Um, should I get dressed? Sure. Okay. Well, well, you've returned. What is it? We found all the pictures. No, all 12 pictures already? You visited every place? 
Then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. I don't think I've ever heard her called Lady Zelda. Oh. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in half a day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. It was just they were there the whole time. But you, you wouldn't be able to trigger it. And what I like to do is just take a picture of this thing. I, it's not the dueling peaks in the background there, but... It's kind of a prominent mountain... Peak, I guess, in the background. Whoops. So she says half a day's time. We'll see. We'll see about that. Let's fill this thing up with some rock salt. Pretty much like, um, I guess unless you're making like special dishes, pretty much the only use for rock salt. Uh, so another, I mean, one more on top of the many, many, many reasons that I'm looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom is that it looks like from everything that we've seen so far that more of your inventory is actually going to have like a real use. You know, for example, the monster parts and stuff that you be able to fuse to your weapons like they won't just sit in your inventory forever now so so now i'm not gonna just like go see kilton to randomly you know load load off a thousand different monster parts and whatever or you know now there will be more incentive even to go and fight all of the monsters instead of avoiding the enemy camps because you'll get better things to fuse to your weapons. So, oh man, it's like 13 days or is it 12? Anyways, we are so close. So, so close. And that's as of today, not like when I, when I post this, there's gonna be, I don't know, maybe like nine. Oh my gosh. Thinking about that makes me excited. Oh, so, um, where am I going? We gotta be out here somewhere. Now that, that mountain range, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, is that it? Maybe. No. I don't see a mountain range that looks like any of those. I'm looking for like that gap in the mountains right there, but I don't think that's Dueling Peaks. It really does look like this, kind of. Oh, there it is. Ha ha! Here we go, here we go. Two memories in one episode, what? And this is a good one too. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I believe to get the true ending to the game, you just have to get all the memories and all the divine beasts. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I know the memories is a part of it. I just don't know what else is a part of it, is, I guess is what I'm saying. So many. Link, save yourself. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Run! No! Wow.
And the music. Space. Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. That's such a cool scene. Link is ready. That's such a cool memory. Gosh. I honestly couldn't tell you how many times I've seen that memory or, you know, play this game. But you just... You just never get over hearing, you know, the original music, the Zelda music in... Zelda games. It just... It just feels so... I don't know what the word is. It's like... I don't know what the word is. Zelda saved Link a hundred years ago. And she even told him to, like, go and save himself. And, you know, which obviously wasn't gonna happen. Because... That's what, I mean, we, we were her appointed knight, Link. That was his purpose in life, was to protect the princess at any cost. And then that's what awakened her stealing power, which is interesting. And it's really cool, too, because you can totally see, like, her entire demeanor changed after that. And, you know, she was, like, uh, giving those people orders and like you know take link to the shrine of resurrection is that clear like she was just was a totally different person from her usual you know kind of quieter self and being a little less uh i don't know what um confident i guess so yeah that was that was so cool I just was kind of curious to see if Impa had anything else to say after we get the last memory. Ah. It seems you visited all the locations. A hundred years ago, you and the princess were quite close. You were a comfort and an encouraging presence to her as she struggled each day to fulfill her destiny. That is why she believes in you and why she has the strength to fight Ganon all alone. Link. The princess. Please, hurry and save our princess. She's been fighting all alone for 100 years. Okay. So, nothing too groundbreaking there. What we're going to do, then... Yeah. Well, we can't go and... We can't go fight Ganon without our sword. 
we've played this entire game, which is crazy. And I know, I know, but the, you know, the reason is it didn't come up in the memory log yet. It's the last one. So now we can go and get the sword and see Hestu finally again. What's the best way to get there, honestly? I probably should have exited Kakariko Village from the other way so I can go north. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there was a lot of musical references in that memory. There was, you know, the like the original Zelda song, and then there was also some Zelda's lullaby in there. And then of course, Fi, like, what does that even mean? I just I have no idea. Is it just because the sword was so damaged or I don't know, and Zelda mentions that in a memory, like actually I think it was the very first one, where she kind of says like it said that, uh, what did she say? It said that, I don't know, the sword has a voice or there's like a spirit in the sword. Or I don't know what exactly she says, but she's, she's, this is when she doesn't really like Link. And she says, can you hear it yet, hero? And so Link never actually did hear it, but she did. Interesting again. Well, and then the sword spoke to her, too, even though we didn't really understand it, I guess, because she... It was like she understood something from whatever that little noise meant. So, yeah, very curious to see if they continue on with that whole thing about Fi being in the sword uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. Also curious to see if they'll... Is this a Korok? Sure is. Also curious to see if they'll um, keep Zelda like with this kind of newly found confident personality. I wish there was a way to cancel Urbosa's fury when, when like you're just trying to do something like that. Gosh, I don't know why Zelda games, like, they just always make me so, I don't know if, like, emotional is the word, but maybe, I guess, because I just get, like, it's just, like, this excitement, I guess, but it's, like, it just... I don't know, comes out in the way of like, I don't know, getting, getting emotional, I guess. I don't know what to call it, okay? But, uh, yeah, it's just Tears of the Kingdom. I can, I already know it. it's gonna be a roller coaster, I'm sure. I mean, I hope. I really hope that a Blood Moon spawns here soon. Maybe while we're messing around in the Korok Forest. Getting into the Korok Forest is always fun, too. Especially because we haven't been there yet. I all, I recently read that there's kind of like a little... Oh, this is a bear cave. Oh, look at them. And they're just chilling. Okay, guys, whoa. Leave me alone. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I recently saw that there's like a, a little bit of an Easter egg, I guess, to getting into Korok Forest in this game, the path that you have to go, like the directionals, I guess. Not, um, not after you leave the torches, but the path that you follow, just where you're still following those torches on the ground is the same path that you had to take to get through the Lost Woods I want to say in, like, the original Zelda or something like that. That's so cool. I love how they do things like that. There it is. We can see the great Deku trees. Pink, uh, pink flowers. Is it Deku or Deku? 
I guess technically Zelda's voice actress, she says Deku, but all my life I've always pronounced it Deku. And then for the longest time too, until I played Hyrule Warriors, the Age of Calamity, um, I always said Akala, like the Akala region, but in Age of Calamity, they say Akala. So that's interesting. Am I going the right way? No, gosh darn it. We're gonna make a U-turn. I needed to, yeah, I need to take this turn off right behind the stable here. And then we'll continue to head north, more or less. I'm excited to finally get the sword. I usually, in most of my playthroughs, I try to get the sword as early as possible, but... In this playthrough, I did want to do the memories in order based on how they appear in that logbook, basically. So that's the reason that I decided to wait so long to get it this time, which has been fun. But it is nice having the Master Sword. It's nice having a weapon that doesn't actually break. It just goes into cooldown, basically. Here we go. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thank you, Urbosa. Check it out. Look at the birds. Isn't this supposed to be lit? Maybe not. Yeah, so like this, this, these directionals, I guess. So like you come in, go to the right, and then it looks like to the left. So like this is apparently the same path that you would take in i think it was the very first zelda if i remember correctly i need space because i'm going to need to pick up a torch at some point okay now these are definitely new trees here look at this i was pointing out that some of the trees looked different than the normal trees i think it was in the last episode i forget where we were but uh, the, those ones definitely look different. Now, while we're here, I should get the Korok mask as well. But where do I go from here? I feel like straight. There's no, there's no fire. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, maybe it. Oh, there it is. There it is. If there's a chest in one of these trees' mouths, we gotta find it. So far, not these. All right, now we are on our own. Follow the embers, basically. Does anybody... I guess there's a uh, an NPC that sort of tells you a little bit, like a little hint of how to get through this forest, but like honestly, it's not that obvious. Unless there was a plaque back there that I didn't read. I don't know. I didn't see that. But I am not seeing that chest. I thought it was like right around in the beginning. Oh, you know what? Let's um... Not that. I probably have a picture of a chest. Let's just target it. Treasure chest, target. Okay. Chest nearby. Which way is it? Well. Somewhere. Somewhere in this direction? It seems like it's got to be close because I keep losing it. There it is. Check it out.
The Korok Mask. A mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when one is hiding nearby. It's a rather rare find. Huh? <laughs> My favorite part is the little pinwheel in his hair. Okay. Strange mask complete. Now, where did that lit torch go? Because I had to put my torch out. Oh no! Well. Shoot. I saw the torch, I guess. Okay, so it just put me right, right back at the beginning. Oh, what is this? Huh. That symbol doesn't look familiar to me at all. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh, light. I guess, well, it put me all the way back at the beginning, so here we go. The music is fun in the Lost Woods. But I do kind of miss the Ocarina of Time Lost Woods music. And this one was, like, straight this way, but it's like you can't see it. It's behind this little tree. There's another chest out here somewhere, but I got the one that I want, so I'm turning this thing off. Uh, how do you... Off. Okay. Now we follow the embers. It's like, it's so dark and creepy out here with these trees, you know, like these trees with these scary faces in them. And then Korok Forest in the center of all of this is just like so welcoming and cozy and I don't know, just like so nice. It's uh, definitely strange. I gotta check the embers every few seconds to make sure that we're still going the right way. I don't want to get too far off track. Uh, so this way? I... I'm curious if a blood moon would even happen while we were in here. Or in Korok Forest at all, honestly. We gotta see Cass's happy ending, gosh darn it. Okay, here we are. When you get to the... the ravine, basically. You know you're in the safe zone. I wish the little pinwheel in Link's hair would spin when I ran. <laughs> That'd be cute. Here we go. Check it out. Okay, I'm taking the mask off for the cutscene. Look at all the Koroks. It'd be fun if every time you found a Korok, it came back here and went home to the forest. And so by the time you collected all 900 of them, then the forest would be just like full of Koroks. There's the sword that seals the darkness. Pull. Are we going to pull it without even talking to the Deku tree? Maybe it'll trigger the cutscene. Link. Here we go. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Whoa. <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. It's you me. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I've nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. 
Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Why are they so cute? <laughs> Best of luck, young one. We are ready. I know we're ready. We've got like over 20 hearts, I think. The sword cares not for your physical might. It's moved by what lies beyond. Be, uh, I don't know what that said. It cuts through bravado and superficial enhancements. Only true strength can draw it from its resting place. The only, only way to know if you have what it takes is to try. A hero's sword. All right, here we go. Pull. It always is a bit nerve-wracking to just see your life being sucked away like that. We did it! Oh, and here comes the music. And a cutscene. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, Princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree. I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I- Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. But what was she gonna say? <laughs> when Link pulled the sword and it, it did that music, you know, when he picked the sword up, it always just reminds me because the what very. Oh, hold on. 
happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. I'm so glad they gave him a voice actor. Instead of me just reading all of that. The Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness, its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Mm. That blade has a name. It's the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by his malice, it'll become suffused with holy light. At oh. such times, the true power of the sword will manifest, but be warned, do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted and will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. <laughs> it was your partner a century ago. Use it with care and wield it bravely for the one who waits for you. For the one who waits for me. And the silent princesses, which uh, they apparently placed those strategically, those little silent princess flowers, because there are three flowers placed exactly there. And I want to say the original Zelda, but um, one of the older Zeldas. Oh, anyways, what I was saying before. Oh, let's get the Master Sword out. Uh, bing, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the when he pulled the sword out and it was like doing the music. Uh, the first thing that I thought of, because the first Zelda game that I played was Ocarina of Time. And so when you pull the sword out and then like the screen goes bright and then it's just that da 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 or whatever that sound is, that Ganondorf music. And then and then, you know, something bad happens. Things did not go according to plan. Look at these like glowy beans or whatever those are. Those are so cool. And then here's Hestu. Yeah. Shalaka, it's you, we meet again. What's with the silent treatment? Don't you remember me? I'm the musician of Korok Forest, Hestu. I'm impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. So have you brought me any Korok seeds? I sure hope so. We did, my friend. We did. So, 12 for a weapon upgrade. We definitely have some of these to do. I haven't really felt like I have too few weapon slots, but I definitely have felt like I maybe need some more bow and shield slots. Just two. Every time you get a seed, it says it has some kind of a distinct smell. And so the fact that Link has been walking around with over a hundred of these in his pocket, he's gotta be stankin'. Let's do a shield stash. I just need two for that one too. I'll probably, I'll do most of these off camera, but I'm gonna do a few of them right now. And then we'll go talk to the other Koroks. Estu's got broccoli for hair. Like, I, I don't know, One at one point I saw that and was like, he's wearing like a broccoli top and now I just can't unsee it. It's all I can think about when I see him. Hestu and his broccoli top. I do love his satchel. text dun, 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 dun. um i guess we did a few so let's see if he's got anything else to say 
If you return my lost Korok seeds to me, I'll expand just as So he doesn't really have anything else to say besides just the inventory step. Okay. Well, I was curious to see like who else we can talk to. Wow, the I I wasn't noticing like the frame drops too much, but now that we're in the forest here, I definitely notice them. Look at the mushrooms on his head. Could it be? You're Mr. Hero. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come, I think. Us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials for you, although you may not need them since you already pulled the Master Sword and all. But these trials will help you grow even stronger than you are now. Among them is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder of Korok Forest. So, will you test your metal in the Korok Trials? Sure. If you, you know, if you want to keep doing everything everyone asks you without question, you're going to get conned eventually. Uh, anywhere, where, where was I? Korok Trials, long story short, you need to visit all the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. <gasps> Trial 1 in the Southwest Forest. Trial of the Second Sight. <gasps> Trial 2 in the Northwest Forest. Lost Pilgrimage. <gasps> and Trial 3 in the Eastern Forest. Test of Wood. If you can overcome the Korok Trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. Do your best. Okay. We can do those. Oh, here's another. Are you the hero? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial. Another one. Show me the rod with the power of ice. Okay. Ice whiz robes. Um, I don't have one of those on hand. And they really have the cutest little home. I was watching you pull out the Master Sword. If you want to know more about the sword, leave it to Maka. The sword that seals the darkness. You want to know more about the Master Sword. It's a very special weapon. It can also lose its power if you overuse it. When that happens, don't panic. All you have to do is wait for the power to regenerate. I probably wouldn't use it for trivial things like opening bottles or cans <laughs> just for smith smiting evil and stuff. The great deco tree can tell you. Um, okay, that's cool. Wait, what was the last thing? How do I leave? Oh, okay. Um, that's a good question, actually. Well, let's go see their cute little house inside the great deco tree. I'm trying to say it like they say it uh, here in the voice acting. What do we have here? Some radishes, some rice. Oh, arrows. Nice. Well, look who we have here. Hello, Mr. Hero. I sell a lot of stuff. Things that I gather in the forest and things that I don't gather in the forest. Um, we could sell or he could sell us. And uh, Okay, let's go. I just really want to see if anybody has anything interesting to say. It's Mr. Hero. He came to visit us in the forest, but took you so long. Peaks thought of a trial that would make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight. It's not scary, but you need to be extra careful. So you want to see a bloopy? Oh, we've seen bloopies. Oh, he wants a picture. Okay. Picture of a bloopy. Another shop. Shop full of mushrooms. And then this is probably the inn. Uh, is it a bed of leaves? Oh, it is. What's the pillow made of? I don't know. I can't jump on the bed. Oh, I was going to mention, they said something like, uh, you got to do the trials to be considered a real grown-up. And I, I always kind of thought that was weird, but I guess thinking about it now, it's probably maybe because from older games, you, you play Link as a kid in a lot of instances. And maybe that's like a nod to being a child in the older game, or yeah, in the older games. I'm going to crawl all the way up the Deku tree here and talk to the Korok that's up on the top of his head. Because that one also has some... That one's actually fun. Those challenges are fun. Well, I guess it's because they're riddles and I think riddles are fun. Link, climb! What are you doing? Grab. My gosh. Okay. Hmm? I was
was having such a nice dream. Wait, if you're here, does that mean that you want to face the ultimate trial? These guys are all about trials. I'll tell you a riddle about an object, and your job is to solve the riddle and bring me the correct object to the first one. Small, red, round, and sweet. Okay, we've got that. That. That's easy. <laughs> apple. It's an apple. That's it. You got it. Uh, the next riddle is Kakariko Village's specialty fruit. Its rock hard flesh is quite resolute. We know what that is, too. It's funny that they say that the pumpkin is the Kakariko Village's fruit because if you ask Olkin, that is true. But if you ask Steen, the other farmer, he thinks it's carrots. The next riddle is this sultry shroom will warm your bones. It makes its home in warmer zones. The riddles. The rhyming riddles. Where is it? Sun shroom. Got it. The next one is its scales and tail will zap you, no doubt. This shocking swimmer is called a fish. <laughs> well, that didn't rhyme. Um, do I have one of these? Sizzlefin. Wait, no. Voltfin? Maybe. Voltfin. Okay, that's it. The next riddle. This is the last one. If you... If stepped on by this, you will go poof. It starts with an H and ends with an oof. <laughs> They're hilarious. Lionel Hoof. That's it. So what's the prize? A diamond. All right. I'm fresh out of riddles. You outwitted me. Very impressive. Okay. Fun. Let's do the shrine that's here. So that we never have to cross the lost woods again. Fateful stars. Let's see what it says. Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. Constellations are the key. Constellations are the key. Okay, so we need to count how many times that appears on the wall. One, two, three, four, five. That was easy. Now for this thing with like two pieces to it. One, two, three. That one looks weird, but I think it's the same thing. One, two, three. Hopefully if they turn blue, that means it's correct. Okay, so now for that big complicated one, I only see one like that. And in fact, we can just count the other one right now. I think it's two. Nice. Well, this is a huge chamber for just like nothing why why such a big place interesting okay okay oh chosen one The hero called Link. Oh, this might be for a Trial of the Sword stuff. The time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. Head to the great Deku Tree's words. Oh, heed at the sacred place, the Korok Forest. To do so and a glorious trial will be bestowed upon you. Trial of the Sword. Ooh, I don't know. Trial of the Sword's tough. Like, 
I think I've maybe done it twice. Once on regular mode and once on master mode. Ooh, it's tough. Anyways, well, I think that does it for this episode, guys. We got our master sword. Finally, the ultimate grass cutter. I don't know why this is so satisfying, but uh, it looks so good. I'm so happy to see it on my back like that. I love the colors and it's exciting to have the sword. So we just have a few things to finish up. I do want to just for the, oh shoot. Just for the sake, I guess, of doing it, I do want to get all 120 shrines and then get the last little thing that they give you, the reward. What's this? A voice beckoned you here? I see. So the time has come. I shall now tell you all that I know about the arduous trial that awaits you. That sword you have you have reunited with, the master sword, it has yet to realize its true splendor. This trial shall test your courage to ensure you're worthy of this splendor. It's called the trial of the sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. <laughs> Hilarious. All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without the tools you've come to rely on. Once you have tempered your soul and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the trial of the sword, the master sword shall truly be yours. Unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial. A hero through and through. Now, Link, place the Master Sword in the pedestal. Whoa. Whoa, I'm not ready for that. Uh, maybe later. I just got the thing. I don't want to put it down. Anyways, yep, so I'll do, I'll probably do some shrines off camera, but we are gonna, I would like to do the ones that the Koroks have here, because I think those are pretty fun. And then we gotta get the reward from the monks, and we gotta finish the thing with Cass, because now that is something that's definitely worth doing. Seeing him get to go home to his family finally. But anyways, that does it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and come back next time for more. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can now join on YouTube and get early access to videos and see members-only community posts. Can't wait to see you there.